Ready to fight. Ready. All right, so here we are in Las Vegas, Nevada, inside the T-Mobile Arena. This has really become the UFC's home base here in Vegas since 2016, and you competed on that inaugural night. UFC 200 was a big one. I got to stand across the octagon from one of the greatest fighters of all time, Anderson Silva, but the roof was blown off at UFC 200. So many stars and legends competed on that night. I'm glad I was able to stand amongst them tonight. You get to make your mark on this great arena. Right, so the kickboxer is landing her leg kicks here early. The boxer kind of shucking them off, but you don't want to eat too many of those. No, you can't. It's going to really limit you. And there's no tell on those leg kicks. She's in her stance, she's tall, and she's just whipping her leg into that kick. It's beautiful. It really is something that every young fighter can learn from. Don't show your attack, just let them fly. It's just a really high pace, too. It's a really high striking pace for these two. Shot. Big head kick land. Just over three minutes to go. Oh, combination striking at its best. Another great sequence out of there. She is just throwing everything with so much confidence. Every time she throws, she believes that she is going to land. And to this point, she has done just that. Seven total strikes have landed for Alexa Grasso. Tried to land the punch, but a swing and a miss by Grasso. Great kick to the body by her there. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. Really finding the kicking range now. Another one lands there. Beautiful strike. for that left hand. Marina Rodriguez gets touched by that kick there. Oh, she's really starting to put together some significant body shots here, attacking both sides. She blocked that punch. That's, that's the danger in the engagement there. Big punch lands through the middle. Nice body kick. 45 seconds remain in the round. Nice jab by Marina Rodriguez. All right, so she told us in the fighter meeting the body shots were going to be key, and they certainly have been. She invested early, and now you're starting to see some damage on the other side. Yeah, she's doing a great job of following the game plan. She spoke to us in the fighter meeting about going to the body, about investing, not worrying about seeing the outcome right away. And it's starting to show now as this fight gets long. All right, let us get you some highlights from that previous round. You ready to fight? Ready. Go All right, let's get to round two. All right, here we go with our next round. Two of the best women in this division. We'll see who takes the upper hand. You got to make a decision when you get up off of your stool going into the next round. And this is my fight, and I am not going to allow it to slip through my feet. She's starting to put together some significant body work here, and these are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Oh, here's a kick to the body. Blocked, though, by Grosso. Great hook, though. Well, she told us coming in that the body strikes and the body work would be a big cornerstone of her game plan in this fight. And you see the numbers there, bottom of your screen. That absolutely tells the story. No one's going to accuse her of being a headhunter here tonight. She has worked that body to great effect. Swing and a big miss by Grosso. Man, look at the redness almost immediately on the right side of her body. Just over three minutes to go. Landed that one. Well, 
She has certainly picked up the pace here in round two and starting to find herself in the pocket a little bit. She was a little bit hesitant in round one. No hesitancy whatsoever here in round two. She has clearly found her rhythm and range. That opened up a cut around her eye area. Got to shore up the defense. Yeah, she's got to move her head. She has not moved her head effectively, and now she's dealing with the cut. All right, so now we see some bruising on that calf on the lead leg, DC. Well, she talked about it in the fighter meeting. She goes, we are going to beat her lead leg up. She's found a lot of success doing that to this point. Nice job by her there to block that shot. Oh, strong series of kicks by her there. It's almost like she throws her feet as if they're two more hands. I mean, that is crazy. Use every weapon available, and she is using her kicks as her main weapon. Grosso's nose is cut now, and she's starting to deal with some blood in that area. 90 seconds now in round two. Well, she's been good tonight, but she missed without one. body kick right under the elbow. Once you get take that many kicks, it doesn't matter if they're hard or not. Those are a lot of kicks. Well, this is one of the more active rounds we have seen all night long. Both of these women have realized success with the striking, and both seem damaged. It's always fun when you get a fight like this, where you see the blood on both sides, where you see the swelling on both sides, where you see the concern for both fighters recognizing, wow. Strike blocked by Rodriguez. Final seconds. Big shots being landed on both sides here. Oh, what a round. How good was that? All right, so there's the horn indicating the end of the round. We will keep an eye on this cut. You see the cut man racing in there. Cut, it looks like it's on the bridge of the nose. He'll try to shut that thing and prevent it from being a factor for her here moving forward. Looks like he'll close it up. You ready to fight? Ready. All right, so here we go. Third and final round. All right, so the previous two rounds, pretty entertaining, DC. We'll see who has the upper hand here as this next round gets under. Very evenly matched fight, and we knew exactly this when they were matched up. We were excited about the fight. We kind of expected this to be very even between these two talented fighters. So that body continues to get ripped up. The judges are looking for damage and damaging moments, and her body investment has been the narrative in this fight. Early, you may not have been able to see how much of an effect this was taking on her, but now you see it. The game plan, everything's clear now, and we'll see her continue to do that as she tries to chase down the finish. Well, she's leaking a lot of blood now. That cut is getting worse with every strike land. And the blood is flying. Her confidence is growing. She will continue to try and target that cut until someone has to come in here, ringside position, and stop the fight. Three minutes now to go on the fight. Well, it is not the worst cut we've ever seen in the UFC, but a lot of blood donation happening right here, right now, as her opponent continues to target that area. Yeah, I mean, you, are a, you have a, a fighter in front of you who is so disciplined, who is so sharp, you have got to get on your bicycle. You got to get on the outside. Limit the damage. Get between rounds. Well, she went for it there, but she missed. And sometimes when you miss that badly, it can really tax your gas tank. She's really going to have to figure out a way to conserve some stamina if she's going to have any success as this fight moves forward. Grosso's nose is just. It looked like we were going to get a finish. She had her rocked pretty good, but she wasn't able to close the show. She wasn't able to find a kill shot. She hurt her very badly. She was not able to. Oh! Oh! What a turn of events here inside this arena. An absolutely crazy flush knockout, and there's going to be no wiping that smile off her face tonight. She's going to be smiling all the way to the bank after a knockout like that. What a performance.